The National Visa Center, NVC, helps you prepare your visa application for interview for particular visa categories at U.S. embassies and consulates when your petition is authorized. In this video, we're going to talk about how your immigrant petition is processed at NVC and what is the processing timelines as of August 9, 2023 at National Visa Center. So once again, good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever you are, and welcome again. This is as a certain feature of the questions to see how best you can help your judicial process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. So, without any further delay, now let's get into the video and find out what the latest updates are on U.S. immigration. Welcome once again. You might already know that your immigrant visa petition, I-130 or I-140, must be approved by USCIS before your case can proceed to the National Visa Center. After USCIS approves your immigrant visa petition, your case will be transferred to the Department of State's National Visa Center, NVC, for pre-processing. Now, you must be wondering what happens next. So, once the NVC receives your immigrant petition and if your priority date meets the most recent cutoff date, or is likely to become current soon, the NVC will send you a welcome letter to Number 1. Invoice you for your visa application fees. Number 2. Collect your visa application and supporting documentation. Number 3. Hold your visa petition until an interview can be scheduled with a consular officer at a U.S. embassy or consulate. However, if your priority date falls after the most recent cutoff date, the NVC will notify you and hold your petition until your priority date meets the most recent cutoff date or is likely to become current soon. As your priority date gets closer to the cutoff date, NVC will contact you to start processing. The Department of State updates the cutoff dates, final action dates or dates of filing, on a monthly basis in the Visa Bulletin. So, NVC's first step in this processing is the creation of your case in their system. As previously stated, once the case is created, based on the priority cutoff dates, the NVC will send you a welcome letter via email or regular mail. With the information in the welcome letter, you can log in to Consular Electronic Application Center, CEAC, to check the status, receive messages, and manage your case. Once you have submitted your fees, forms, and supporting documents to NVC, they will review your case to ensure you have provided all of the documentation needed to schedule your immigrant visa interview. The interviews are scheduled based on the availability of appointments offered at the embassy, consulate. Now, let's find out which case at National Visa Center is currently being created or reviewed as of this week. Step number one. Case file creation time. Current case creation time frame. As of the 9th of August 2023, we are working on cases that were received from USCIS on the 30th of June 2023. Once NVC has created your visa case by entering the data from your petition into the system, NVC will send you instructions for processing, as well as a welcome letter that includes your case number and invoice ID. You should keep your welcome letter in a safe place, as you will need this information to log into CEAC throughout the entire visa process. Now, let's check the timelines for step number two. Current case review time. As of August 9, 2023, NVC is reviewing documents submitted to them on the 26th of July, 2023. To reiterate, you must pay all fees and submit all required documents, including the petitioner's affidavit of support supporting financial documents, the applicant's DS-260, and the applicant's civil documents, before the National Visa Center will review your case. Please note required documents vary based on petition type. If you are waiting to know the status of your case, you might consider sending an inquiry to NVC. As of the 9th of August 2023, NVC is responding to inquiries received on August 1, 2023. This information is updated every week and NVC urged to applicants to a subsequent inquiry only if they do not receive a response to the emails within the published timeframe above because duplicate inquiries slow their ability to respond to you in a timely manner. NVC also mentioned that Immigration and Nationality Act, INA, 
Section 203, G, provides that the Secretary of State shall terminate the registration, petition, of any alien who fails to apply for an immigrant visa within one year of notice of visa availability. The petition may be reinstated if, within two years of notice of visa availability, the alien establishes that the failure to apply was for reasons beyond the alien's control. Therefore, if you do not respond to notices from the NVC within one year, you risk termination of your petition under this section of law and would lose the benefits of that petition, such as your priority date. Now, let's look at the National Visa Center, NVC, Immigrant Visa Backlog Report as of July 2023. The Department of State has had a very difficult time processing immigrant visa requests since the COVID-19 pandemic began in March 2020. U.S. embassies and consulates are working to resume routine visa services on a location-by-location -location basis as expeditiously as possible in a safe manner. However, the pandemic continues to severely impact the number of visas our embassies and consulates abroad are able to process. As of June 30, there were 388, 397 IV applicants whose cases were documentarily complete at NVC and ready for interview. Number of documentarily complete IV applicants scheduled for July 2023 interview appointments is 36, 576. Number of eligible IV applicants still pending the scheduling of an interview after June 2023 appointment scheduling was completed is 351,821. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!